I think I just kept, I kept, you know, I kept trying and trying and trying to lock on it until it got sort of closed. And reflections, reflections are pretty cool in glass if you want them. If you don't want them, then what you need to do oftentimes is a step side, a step a little bit to an angle, like a 45 degree angle to shoot through the glass, and then you'll at least get rid of your reflection and some others. Um, this is at the St. Louis Botanical Garden. Tomb there, and you can see if you step up to this glass, uh, it's just surrounded with windows, and you shoot straight through. Oftentimes, you're going to get bright reflections of yourself and and, uh, and stuff. So, finding an angle, I think I just moved a little bit to to an angle to shoot into it to avoid a reflection and, and look at ways to avoid it. And my wife went to the other side, and I just <laughs> shot through, <laughs> and I got the foreground background. Uh, your camera will do a pretty good job in situations like this, just because it's uh, it. Uh, there's a lot. There is some intense bright light there, uh, but it'll it'll tend to uh, underexpose these kind of scenes and create more of a silhouette. And again, you know, you, I started out wide, and I think I just kind of kept trying to move in. Uh, I might have even tried to walk a little closer. These hummers were pretty persistent there. And then again, you kind of wait until you get that that gesture. Sort of uh, stand out a little 